When you come to Boeing and our service reps, they know the aircraft. They don't have to call anybody else to get that information because they already know it. Hi, this is Colin Clark, editor of Breaking Defense here at the Lockheed Martin Chalet, which as you can see, actually it's a booth, but not really a chalet. Um, but as you can see, they've got a whole groovy new look with the uh, F-35 and screens behind us. And that's by way of introduction to some of the work that Kim Bonders here is doing on multi-domain operations. Lockheed uh, had me in to uh, have a look at their latest work on MDO. And Kim, two years ago, I came in, we did the uh, war game. Where have we come since then? So, so that was a tabletop exercise that we did at the Lighthouse. I think that's the one we worked with the Air Force in looking at processes behind airspace and cyber operational planning. How you would work together, what kind of organizational constructs you would use, what kinds of processes, what kind of critical information do the operators need in order to put an integrated, synchronized, multi-domain plan together that can be executed through the tactical edge. Right, and where have we come since then? Where, where are we now? Sure, so th those processes and those organ organizational constructs are still in development. That's still very much a part of the Air Force's priority in terms of trying to understand how to execute multi-domain operations. What you saw today in the multi-domain operations booth was how we can integrate uh, operational and tactical edge um, Opera C2 all the way to execution using a variety of effects to get the, a very complicated um, problem solved on the battle space and get those answers back to the operational uh, command area so that the, the uh, decider, the commander, can rapidly see what's happening, can rapidly make decisions for the next day's war. Now, one of the things we saw was that uh, the network is uh, it just doesn't work without a good network. How have you approached building and maintaining that network given the huge array of sensors you're talking about? So that, that's a very good question. That is not something that we're doing here in, we're not really looking at a network issue. Networks are very complicated things and we are working toward that in part as with Lockheed Martin as a corporation. That is not my area of expertise though, so I can't really help you with that okay, question. Okay, fair enough. Um, when you're looking at, we were looking at uh, ABMS as sort of the, the bedrock for this early version, or at least an important part of it. Oh. Um, how do you tie together uh, all of these sensors with artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, operate across what used to be all these stovepipe systems. Mm -hmm. So that is a very, there's a much longer answer out there to that, you know, the, the, the sensor, when we talk about sensors, we talk about effectors, um, the different domains that we're working with, so air obviously, space, cyber, land and maritime, there are different needs and different um, timelines within the battle space that we're working with. So tying them together involves um, um, bringing in some algorithms so that we understand how to integrate the systems, how to be able to display information and get it to the operators who need it. So the, you know, the operational C2 may have a different kind of picture need than a tactical C2. Um, and then depending on where, where that operator is in the battle space, they might need to see it at a different time, at a different pace, and a different quality of information. So very complex questions, uh, but those are all things that we're addressing in our multi-domain operations. So one of the things that uh, you hear a lot about from folks who maybe aren't as close to the coal face as you are is multi-domain operations. It's just another Pentagon buzzword. What would be your answer to them? Uh, I think we've come far enough that we know that it's much more than an operational buzzword at this point. Um, I mean, it's something that the Air Force has taken very seriously. We've listened to the Air Force's call about the, um, the emphasis and the importance of multi-domain and how we have to do things faster. I mean, the, the battle space is getting more complex, timelines are getting more converged, and we are going to see things happen at a much faster pace and with much more complexity than we have in the past. That's a reality, and that's multi-domain operations. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.